everybody, it's Melanie and it's time for our first Vlogoween DIY. I'm so super excited. I've never done this before. Um, I learned a lot of things during the process, so I would recommend watching the video and seeing my uh, tips and tricks at the end of the video um, before you just jump right in. Um, but we're making candles and yes, Halfway through the video, I did realize that my orange and yellow later should be reversed. It's been one of those days. But you know what? I'm still happy with them. I learned how to make candles and that's something I've always wanted to do. So stay tuned um, for this DIY and I want to see your candles at the end. Have fun! Some things you're going to need for this project are two candle holders. Um, wax or candles. Um, I found orange candles which is one of the colors that we need so I went ahead and got those and then I got white because that's a color that we need but you're gonna need something to color with so I'm gonna use a yellow crayon, a couple of pencils, some wicks. Um, mine do not have that little metal thing on the bottom so I hope they work okay. A measuring cup, a knife, uh, this one's pretty dull pot, some water, and also a measuring cup. Oh, and don't forget, whatever smell you would like for your candles. Now, these candles, make sure if you're going to put a smell in them, make sure that you get unscented unless you know <laughs> that the smells are going to go well together. So, what I'm, I've already got one set up there. You can tell the wig I'm gonna just, and it took me a little while to get that adjusted. Um, I've never done candles before, so please forgive me if I do something wrong and you are a candle expert. Give me some tips and tricks in the comments below. Okay, that went a lot faster the second time, so maybe it just takes practice. Um, so what we're gonna do is, in order to make this wax melt faster, I'm just gonna shave it all to pieces. We might cut to a fast forwarding part here. Oh no! Is she inside white? No, no, it's just a different color of orange. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see how these two colors come together when they melt. messier than I expected. There is wax all over the counter. I'm definitely going to have to do a cleanup. So if you can find the bags of wax that are already in little pellets or, you know, kind of like this, this is what we ended up with. Um, ah, there we go. This is what we ended up with. Um, you can tell, oh, I've already got some water here in my pot. And then I'm just going to sit that in the pot. We're going to turn it on and let it melt.
this looks pretty orange, but it's kind of a very clear orange, especially around the edges, and I don't know how that's going to come across. Um, so I put part of an orange crayon in here just to add some color. Oh, oh yeah, that's way better. Be careful with this, it's hot. Um, and then next, it said to go ahead and mix in the scent while the wax was nice and hot and all melted. And it looks like everything is melted, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my smell. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Hope you can hear me over it. So I got the pumpkin spice, and it pretty much just said add until you get the desired smell. So we're gonna count how many drops go in here, and then we are safety sealed. So let's see if we can get this off without getting. Oh, that came off really easily. It's very very strong. Um, if you have a dropper, you might want to use a dropper. Um, let me see if I have a dropper. Okay, so my dropper is dirty and I'm not gonna take the time to wash it. So I'm gonna use this little measuring spoon that I usually use for soap and then I'll just wash it later. So we're gonna just pour a little bit at a time. So I just put one spoonful in there. it smells a little bit like pumpkin spice so let's try another spoonful and like the package says you know you just keep adding it until your desired smell is reached so you might like more than me you like might like less than me Oh yeah, okay, I think that is good. So we will stick with two of those for each thing. Ah, I'm getting pumpkin spice everywhere. Yeah, this is a, maybe it's just me and because it's, I'm not practiced with this and it's my first time doing it, but this is a messy project. <laughs> and it's more time consuming than I thought it would be. And there's our first layer. Now before we can do anything else, we have to let that cool, let the first layer completely be hardened and dry. Then you're gonna repeat the steps that we just did for your white candle, which you're gonna color yellow and your white candle which you're gonna leave white so if anybody hasn't guessed yet we are doing candy corn candles yay so I'm going to do those steps off camera I'm down to half battery it's gonna take a while to get everything put together um, but yeah just break your candle apart or if you already have the wax then melt the wax, add your color, add your flavor, pour it in, let it harden before you do the next layer. And I will meet you up at the end of this project. Yeah, so standing here realizing as I'm looking at this giant bag of pin corn that I did my layers out of order. Orange goes in the middle. What can I say? It's been one of those days. I mean, I went to the gym this morning, forgot my locker, my locker, forgot my lock for my locker, 
forgot my iPad to watch Netflix while running. Forgot my headphones. I couldn't even use my phone for music. So happy Halloween. Mixed up candy corn candles. Just to reverse your first and second layers. Yellow on the bottom, orange in the middle, white on the top. I'll see you at the end before my battery dies. Yeah, it's been that kind of day, like I said, and you won't believe I just found this in the box with the smelly stuff. <sighs> so I'm just gonna say these candles are not gonna turn out perfect. That side looks better. <laughs> um, this has definitely been a learning experience. Um, the last thing that we have to do is just trim our wick. Um, this side looks not so great. Try not to tilt your candles before they dry. Um, yeah. My layers, again, they're not perfectly even. Um, and I got my yellow and orange mixed up, so. I'm hoping they will smell more like um, the pumpkin spice when I light them. Um, you'll probably see that in another video because we're going to be doing something else candle related. Um, so things that I have learned, um, you don't need to chop your candles up. Just stick them in there and let them melt. Um, crayons may not be I mean, there's definitely yellow, but when I was pouring the white on top, um, it was like a yellow-white mix, um, not a through-and-through -through yellow, if that makes sense. Um, use one candle per layer to make them more even. Um, I, I, can, I did rush mine just a little bit because I picked them up to put them in the refrigerator so I could show you the finished product. Um, without having to do a two-day video. Um, don't tilt them. <laughs> that's how you get this orange that's way up there. I'm happy with them. They aren't perfect. I don't care. Um, this is my first time. I'm sure the next time will be easier. Like I said, I learned a few things. It was a learning experience. Um, if you make some, uh, let me know. Send me a picture to my email, shiveringshimmy at gmail.com. You can also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash shivering shimmy. I'm also shivering shimmy on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat. So um, drop me a picture or a line. Um, tweet me. Tweet me your candles. Um, you know, it's all in the season, right? It's all about having fun and ha for Halloween. So I think mine are not 100% dry. I think I'm going to stick them back in the refrigerator for now. And... I will see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, Friday night, if everything works out, I should be going on a ghost hunting mission. So look for that. I'm so excited. I will see you guys later. Bye.